Hey guys, how's going? Today, I'm gonna share with you our visit to the color factory. If you're considering visiting the color factory with your family, I'm gonna walk you through it now so you know what to expect and you can have the best experience with your little ones. Hayden and Irvin had a blast, so check out their website for the current location and visit if you can. I'm sure your kids will love it. Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Fong and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two boys. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Here is the location that we're visiting in Houston. It's located in the Kirby area. The building is hard to miss. It's very colorful from the outside. After entering the building, we waited in a short line for our turn. The exhibit is designed as a tour. So basically, you keep going through one room to another until you exit. Each room is a different interactive art experience. Now it's our turn. Before we start, we were asked to check in. You need to type in your email and grab a photo token. The token is used to activate photo booths. I highly recommend you keep these tokens carefully, they can get lost easily, and you don't want to miss them because the photo booths are absolutely amazing. We were then given treat bags. Color Factory partnered with local bakeries and sweet shops, so you'll be given treats along the way. These macarons taste pretty good. Our first experience is a long hallway with a giant stretching overhead art sculpture. It is made of chain link fans and crystal squares, and it changes color during natural light from the big window along the hallway. This is definitely a good spot for photos. The kids love the sculpture, but I have to be careful not to let them touch any of the squares. They're too beautiful and too delicate. Let's keep going. Here is the second room. In some rooms, the staff will give you instructions on what to do and how to best enjoy the installation. You can front and hold the balloon, alright? Look at that! Those giant balloons are floating. This is gonna be fun! These colorful floating balls are bouncy. To make it even more fun, there are blasts of low pressure air coming from the floor. The air streams blast the balls up and down and all over the place. And that made the kids lose their mind. They love this room so much. I also love the black and white striped wallpaper. They make an awesome background for photos. one is an audio light installation. There are two stands in the middle of the room. To activate the experience, two people have to stand in each other of the stands and place their hands on the sensors that will make the lights and music come alive. There is the monitor in the back of the room, which is why we kept looking back. It looks spectacular, but you have to be careful because if anyone takes their hand off, from the sensor, the room will go dark immediately. Confetti Accumulation is one of the most popular rooms of the exhibit, and also my favorite. It is simply a room filled with colorful confetti in a striking yellow backdrop. What else is more fun than throwing a fishbowl load of confetti up in the air? It looks like it's snowing here. So messy and yet so beautiful.
All right, I think we have enough confetti. I can't wait to see what's waiting for us in the next room. This room is called Night Bright. No wonder it's so dark. In Night Bright, all the four walls are basically giant peg wards. But instead of little pegs, you can arrange lit up plastic tubes to create whatever design you want. When you insert the tube into the peg hole, it lights up the tube color. So satisfying. The next room is fairly small, but it is probably the most visually striking. It made me feel like looking at an illusion. These are glasses at the entrance that you can grab, and when you put them on, you can see hidden drawings all over the walls and ceilings. The kids love running around and finding all the cool drawings. This next room is a bit strange. It's designed to engage with your sense of smell. Each of the metal pipes represents a unique smell. Some of them are pleasant, like butter and candy. Some are just weird, like winning the lottery. Or coleslaw. So basically, you can walk around and sniff the pipes to see if a scent is familiar to you. Pretty interesting. Complimentary Compliments is another collaborative experience. There are two entrances. I'll be on one side, and my husband will take another entrance. As I enter, there's a glass wall in the middle of the room dividing us, and there are rows of colorful phone booths in the middle. It's beautiful and strange at the same time. When you sit down, there's audio instruction to tell you to draw the opposite person or pick a color to describe them. I think this is my least favorite room, mostly because I was busy holding baby Orvin the whole time. Hayden, to my surprise, seems really enjoy it. This is how my loving husband drew me. Seriously? As we exit, we were given another round of sweets. We are now entering the final room. The theme of this room is outer space. It pays homage to the NASA Space Center in Houston and to the historic moon landing. There is a gigantic ball pit in the middle of the room, and it is filled with so many plastic balls. I heard there are about 40,000 balls filled in this pit. One important tip before you dive in it is to make sure you check off your shoes and any small belongings. There's a small shelf at the entrance that you can use. You definitely don't want to lose things in this giant ball pit. It will take days to find it. Come on, let's jump in! As we're descending, I realized it's actually not that easy to move around. But it was really fun. Another thing to note is that the pit is about 3 feet deep, so watch out for the little ones. Other than that, it is so fun to be here. I just wanna be stupid. Oh, and don't forget to bring your token here because the overhead photo booth here is one of the best in the exhibit. I think we have enough fun. It's time to go. I just wanna be stupidly happy with you. I just wanna be stupid and happy with you. Before exiting the exhibit, we passed by a hallway where we could take some additional photos with the kids. It's sunny at the most days. Don't 
never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead of turning around And we also return our tokens here in exchange for some stickers If you don't like the stickers, you could also exchange the tokens for either a magnet or a temporary tattoo On the way out, there are a couple more things to see there's a gift shop, free mochi ice cream, a beautiful design used in neighborhood map, and a giant photo wall of snapshots of this neighborhood. Miller represents a part of Houston. When you open it, it'll tell you uh, where to go. The kids love opening and checking out all these colorful doors to see what photo lies inside. It is a fun activity to check out before you go. Okay, it really is time to go. I really enjoyed this exhibit. Please subscribe and share this video if you find it helpful for you. Thank you so much and see you next week. Bye!